Ex-wives, women who are no longer married. One of the top female screen stars of the 80s and 90s, Demi Moore was part of the Hollywood A-list and initially drew attention as one of the Brat Pack. During the two and a half decades that she's graced the silver screen, Demi has certainly had her share of highs and lows. She put her career on hold to focus on family in the wake of a divorce from Bruce Willis in 2000 and retreated from the public eye. But this famous Hollywood ex-wife bounced back in more ways than one when she married the much younger Ashton Kutcher. Bruce and Demi, who were one of Hollywood's highest profile couples, were married after a whirlwind three-month relationship. Less than three years later, both Demi and Bruce made the leap to Hollywood stardom. Bruce with his role as the wise-cracking cop in the blockbuster action film Die Hard, and Demi with the success of supernatural romantic drama Ghost, opposite Patrick Swayze and Whoopi Goldberg. The couple's three daughters, Ruma, Scout and Tallulah, often accompanied them on the red carpet. They announced in 1998 that they were separating and they divorced in 2000, while Demi left the spotlight to raise their children away from the pressures of Hollywood. They are a close-knit family and she and Bruce remain good friends. Demi began dating Ashton Kutcher, a man 16 years her junior in 2003, after they met at a dinner in New York City, just as she was making a highly publicised return to the big screen as a villain in Charlie's Angels' Full Throttle. Known for his comedic roles, Ashton rose to fame as the dim-witted Michael Kelso in hit TV series That 70s Show. Having acquired legions of female followers with his immensely popular MTV show Punked, Ashton's high-profile romance with Demi sent his career soaring. This is your chance. Feel good? Okay, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Well, that's good. I want you to use that, okay? Although many initially scoffed at the coupling and claimed it was a publicity stunt, the relationship flourished and they married in September 2005 in a traditional Kabbalah ceremony. Also attending the nuptials was ex-husband Bruce, who gave Ashton his full blessing. Bruce is still very close to his ex-wife and he enjoys a close relationship with Ashton. Ashton also gets along well with Bruce and Demi's three children, who came to embrace him as a third parent, affectionately calling him Mod, short for My Other Dad. Proving just how close they really are, the extended family often attends premieres together. Guess it proves that the Willis Moore Kutcher household really is one big happy family. They were all on hand as Bruce received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In a sign of mutual respect, it seems they love sharing and celebrating each other's success as they all continue down Hollywood's path of achievement. Good evening, Charlie. Madison, is that you? Sorry, Charlie. I don't take orders from a speaker box anymore. I work for myself. Well, your boss sucks. Looking unbelievably well-preserved at age 40, Demi made a major impact on screen in her comeback role in Charlie's Angels. While off screen, she walked away with all the film's publicity due to her relationship with Ashton. Now, though, the attention is back on her work. In Bobby, written and directed by her former fiancé and fellow brat packer Emilio Estevez, she plays an alcoholic lounge singer named Virginia Fallon, and her performance, as part of a stellar ensemble cast, has been winning critical reviews. Do ever call you Twinkie? No. That's right. For this ex-wife, it seems her divorce was the best thing that ever happened to her. She gained a new body, another high-profile marriage, this time to a young, hot husband, and acclaim for her comeback roles. It looks like Demi Moore has had the best of both worlds.